to the telly I uh, signed up for a night class. Oh, a night class, huh? <laughs> uh, would it be uh, how to be a bigger feck in Egypt than you already are course? No. <laughs> well, would it be a shagging for beginners course? No. <laughs> oh, I know what it is. It's shrink my head so it fits my body course. <laughs> I shut can up. Do with that. I just want to better myself. That's Did you up. tell me to shut up? Mm. Yeah, well, yeah, better yourself, huh? Well, learning's for losers. Listen to this night course, boy. Turlock P. Lamb and Luden Slaughter were both studying law in TCP up in Dublin. Under the esteemed professor Tony Grimp, or, or Gimp as the boys like to call him, <laughs> behind his back of course, <laughs> they were both A-plus students and cocky with it. Oh, would they be the type of fellas now that would tell off-colour jokes in mixed company? <laughs> like the one about the nun and the lobster. Shut up, you public menace! They really irked Professor Grimp with their constant interjections. Yes, Mr. Slaughter. I think you'll find that in the landmark case 1976 of Kramer versus Kramer predates the Langton Hovers debacle of 82. Luden would say. And it really pissed the professor yes. off, because generally speaking, the know it alls were correct. <laughs> there's nothing worse than people interrupting you. Yeah, the exams were. Sure, there's not. The exams, of course... Nothing gets on my tits more than people just... Final me. exams were fast approaching. And whilst everyone else was studying, the cocky know-it-all duo were on an all-weekend piss-up in Galway. Ah, oh, feckin' students! If they're not getting pissed up, they're getting knocked up! Oh. Yeah, well, will you shut up? Yeah. I'm trying to tell me tale. On Sunday... Turlock heard there was a big house party on that night. Yeah, but we got our final exams in the morning and we better be getting back. Look, this party's not to be missed. I'll ring the gimp and make some excuse. Right. <laughs> <laughs> and that night they partied like it was 1999. Uh, so there was a cover charge. <sighs> The next morning, Turlock dialed Dublin. The professor picked up the phone. Hello? Yo, hi, professor. It's Turlock here. You're not going to believe it. Myself and Ludon have got a flat tyre. And uh, mm -hmm. we're stuck outside, uh, Mulcray. We're not going to make it back for the exam. Is there anything you could do? The professor was annoyed. This is highly irregular. Everyone else will be here for the exam. He said. With the know-it-all, Turlock replied. OK, dude. But I think you'll find that the stated in the college charter is in extraneous circumstances, for instance, a flat tire. Students are permitted to sit the exam within 48 hours. The little bastard was right <sighs> as usual. You do have a standby exam, don't you, Tony? <laughs> I mean, professor. <laughs> the professor told them to report to him at nine the next morning. <laughs> the cheeky buggers. Huh? They knew the rights, though. <laughs> professor Tony Grimp met the two boys the next morning. He placed them in two separate rooms to take the exam. The boys thought the first page of multiple-choice questions, worth a minor 10% of the overall grade, were a piece of piss. <laughs> Each of the boys grew progressively confident as they took the test. They were going to pass their finals, top marks, and they had a wicked extra night partying to boot, courtesy of the gimp. <laughs> that was until they turned to page two, to find only one question on the page. Worth 90% of the exam. It read, Which tire? Bollocks. Feck! Yes. Which tire? <laughs> <laughs> oh, very good. The excuse is the flat tire, and the boy's now in separate rooms. Right. <laughs> Which tire was it, huh? <laughs> Caught by their own lies. That's right, Tony <laughs> Curtis. Eight <laughs> years of college down the drain. <laughs> Uh, anyway, what, what night course have you signed up for? Uh, it's, a, it's an M.A. course. An M.A.? <clears throat> Jesus, me brother doing an M.A., huh? Well, God, I, I could be proud of you for once. Huh? No, it's a, it's a, 
An M.A. course. Yeah. Masturbator is anonymous. <clears throat> oh. Right, well, uh, at least you're getting some help at last. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I have a tip for you. <laughs> if you pardon the pun, a tip. <laughs> Don't shake hands with anyone in the course. Huh? No. Oh! <laughs> right, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Mm. Mm. Course doesn't start till tomorrow. No, does mm -hmm. I was thinking, uh... <laughs> Might have one last binge, mm. if you know what I mean. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Did you get any of your, uh, specialist videos in, huh? Huh? The specialist Ah, video. you're a devil. Huh? Go on. All right, so. <laughs> let's see Go what have you got, got there, there, huh? Well, now, the first one here, let's see. This is, I don't know if you've seen it. P and John Malkovich? No. Nah. No? Oh, there's that? one here from the Colon Brothers. Oh. Oh, bugger, where are they? I know, I've seen it. Oh, yeah. hold on then. Let's see. Oh, new one, new one came in. This came oh, in the post this morning. What's that? It's called Crouching Homo, Hidden Hamster. Oh, sounds intriguing. Uh, it's a great film now. To be foreign, it would be. Oh. And uh, it has the subtitles, but you'll hardly be looking at those, will you? <laughs> <laughs> John, with my squinty eyes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, good man now. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> very good, huh? <laughs> <laughs>